see echinococcus granulosis. The organism is common in Asia, in Australia, in oh, East Africa, hmm. <laughs> South, southern part of South America, southern part of North oh. America. <laughs> Incidence of human infection hmm. is about one a one thousand infection and zero area region. So this is the smallest of the tapeworm that measure nine millimeter long. If you watch this prototype, while Kenya Sajinata can have two thousand prototypes, this uh, Benelope is Nana. Uh, I mean, this Echinococcus granulosus can only have three prototypes. Free. Yeah. The life cycle yeah, no. is like this. Other tom leaves in the domestic and will decay in forest and whereby eggs pass are infected animals are ingested by grazing farm animals or a man localized in different organs and developing develop into hydra to the seed for turning many lava. So when other animals consume infected organs of those animals, protosporosis will escape the cyst into small intestine and will develop into other worms. Echinococcus eggs, <coughs> when by man, produce an embryo that penetrates small intestine intercirculation and the form cyst in the river, lung, bone, and sometimes in the brain. The cyst is around one to seven centimeters in diameter, although it can put up to 30 centimeters. Imagine a 30 centimeter of diameter of the cyst. It's like a football. It's, it can go up to that, that size. The cyst consists of an outer and clear hairline, particular and inner created the germinal layer containing clear yellow fluid. Daughter cells attached to the germinal layer, although some cysts, known as broad cysts, have only a lung. So this is a hydrated sand of Echinococcus granulosus. This is an egg that uh, <coughs> that start infection. But a human being don't have other two. Human being never have other two because the cyst will form and it ends by there. No further development. So, it is started by other small intestine, whereby the adult lay eggs, adult from these animals, and when it lay eggs, embryonated egg in feces will be eliminated. Then a man can get infected by consumption of this embryonated egg. Once consume this embryonated egg. There will be composphere that hatch from egg, penetrate intestinal wall. And after that, hydrate cyst will form in the liver, in the lungs, and the different the other body parts. And the cycle <laughs> So, for animals, the animals ingestion of egg in the feces, the intermediate hosts such as sheep, goat, swine, those are the pork, they will be infected by ingestion of those seeds. While this definitive host, this is a dog or 
other carnivores and they will get when they consume organs of this animal intermediate host that have the, 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 the parasites uh, diagnostic stages in those eggs the adult echinococcus granulosus of 6 mm long reside in a small bowl of definitive hot dog and other communities. Gravid prochlorotide will be released containing egg that are passed in feces. After ingestion of suitable intermediate host under natural conditions, pigs, goat, swine, cattle, horse, camel, the egg hatch in a small bowl and release oncospheres that penetrate intestinal wall and migrate through the psychiatric system into various organs, especially liver and lung. Then in these organs, the oncosphere, this is the larva, it drops into cysts that arrange gradually producing protos protoscolysis and the daughter cyst that fill the cyst arterial. Then those definitive hosts become infected by ingesting the cyst containing organs of the intermediate host. After ingestion, the protoscolysis evaginate attached to the intestinal mucosa develop into other species around 80 days. The same life cycle occurs with Echinococcus militirocaris with the following differences, definitive hosts are fox and to a lesser extent, the dog can be definitive host, the cat, coyote and the wolves. The intermediate hosts are small rodent and larva growth. In the liver remain and definitively in the proliferative stages resulting in invasion of the surrounding tissues. So for the other echinococcus like echinococcus vogili, definitive hosts are bash dogs, the intermediate hosts are rodent and the rubber stages in the liver, lung and other organs. Develop both externally and internally resulting in multiple vessel infection. So this, maybe we don't talk too much about the animals, how they don't get affected. What is most important is on the, the human being, whereby the, the human being will develop a, 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 a hydrated disease in the body. This is also Echinococcus origa Origatras, which have a life cycle that involves with the fed as a definitive host, rodent as intermediate. The human become infected by ingesting eggs, which result in release of oncosphere. Then oncosphere in the intestine and will dissolve into cysts in the various muscle organs. This is a typical person with a very big belly. I get it. That mm. uh, have this kind of uh, uh, after surgical procedures regard the, the, the mass that has been removed from the from is the the very big. Big. Oh. And when they perform echography, you can get confused by a pregnancy <laughs> whereby the cyst is big. And if the cyst, the cyst grow every day, it can grow and increase size where you can get, think you are pregnant but you are not. And to remove the cyst, the in fact the surgical, you have to to remove the entire cyst as it is. You can be seeing a person with this size, but after removing the, 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 the cyst, the, the belly is very flat. Mm. 
So, uh, treatment is surgical and once you don't remove it exactly or once you don't remove entirely you damage it the fluid inside the seat is very toxic and it can cause death to the patient echinococcus mirifilocalis You can perform a photography as you can see this is yet a good ultrasound so you can perform ultrasound you can perform serological tests to find antibody against those high that it is at so but no stool examination Okay. Echinococcus mirichirocaris has a very similar morphology and life cycle, except that rodent are the intermediate host instead of a sheep and goat. Humans, when infected with this, also develop a dirty disease which produces symptoms similar to those of caused by Echinococcus glanulosus. is the mean of removing the cyst. Rodent control is the means of prevention of this hydrated disease due to echinococcus granulosis or echinococcus militi localis. I'm saying that we come at the end, come at the end of talking about a uh, thoughts where we have talked about tenia soria, tenia sarginata, meneropis nana, meneropis diminuta, ifirobotrium latu. Uh, we talked about echinococcus glandulosus 
and a Kinokokus military locales. All of those are temple, but in our local regions, we normally have the incident, incident of uh, Tenia Solium, Tenia Sojinata in our country. I remember in my car, in my study, I found a lot of in the Gisaga, Gisagara district and the Nyaruguru. Nyaruguru district and the Nyamagabe. They are the, 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 the district where we found many, many cases of Kenya. Kenya Soria, especially. And there are many cases of epilepsy in those regions. So, uh, probably they are the region where they consume, maybe. They are not consuming. Maybe Nihoha Gorora Chan will be Chamasin. Majaru grew in northern provinces. They are not, they don't have many cases. Eastern province in Yagatari, they don't have many cases. The Chumbi, they don't have. Mavu, they don't have. But, uh, Rusiz in Yamashi. <laughs> Treatment for all of these parasites that we have been seeing is not really different. Albendazole can treat. Uh, Albendazole also prasicampel can be used. Both they can still have a good effect. Now let's talk about trematodes. Okay? Are we together? Is that a treatment? Is that not? Yeah, in a the disease, right? Yeah. I could the, 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 the <laughs> We are going to talk about uh, uh, the most significant trematode from a clinical point of view are blood flows and also the trematodes that significant in intestinal fluke. We have intestinal fluke and we have uh, blood fluke. Hmm? So blood fluke, we have schistosomal aponicum, schistosomal hematobium, and also we have schistosomal intericaratum. And that trematode of significance uh, of intestinal fluke, we have parciola boosting, uh, liver flukes, parciola hepatica, coronal shift sinensis, and lung flukes, paragonimus westerman. Is this over the Samazin again? Kurazi Fum. Our Ninga Liver is shooting. I come up at the Samazin. Oh, let's start from blood flux. Blood flux called schistosomiasis. That causes schistosomiasis or bilariziasis. Yes, bilariziasis. The disease that uh, affect the person who usually culture the rice. With culture, our, our rice culture, our immunity. This disease is very common over here in the Vimicheri, and it's very common in the area where there is rice culture. The three species of schistosoma have different geographical distribution. Mapia mm -hmm. is prevalent in Africa. Mansona is found in Africa too and America. Japonicum is found in Asia, especially in Japan. 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 Two 
250 million people are infected with shifozoms and 600 million are at high risk. Other two homes are about 20 millimeter long. The male has an unusual lamellar form shape with marginal folds forming a canal we, in which the slender female warm inside. We call it gynecophore. Gynecophore is the, 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 the part of the female womb that harbor the, the male. And like other trematodes, like schistosomas, have the separate sex. We have both male and female. This is different from uh, the cestodes, tenia, mm -hmm. where we don't have, uh, where we don't have the, ma the male and the female. Just we have one, one kind of walk, which is a mafrodi. So this, this is called gynecophore or gynecophoric canal. Male and female schistosoma. So. This is the oral sucker or the oral cavity. This is the ventricle sucker, meaning that it can have the, 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 the lateral sucker and oral sucker. This is the, the male that always have the female made together. <laughs> Jean Paul is representing the state. So, uh, gynecophoric canal is where the the, the, the female is lodged within the male. Yes. Yes. That's the yes. morphology yes. of other two. Schistosoma mansoni are that female and male. And we never find those different. We always find a male and a female together. We never find them separate. Man yes. is affected by saccharia in a fresh water by skin penetration. You have to know the effective stage and diagnostic stages of the, those different parasites. So, uh, the saccharia in the fresh water will penetrate the skin of human being. Saccharia will travel through the venous and it can reach different body parts, different uh, vital organs such as heart, lungs, through the portal secretion, in about three weeks, they mature and reach the mesenteric for schistosoma japonicum and mansoni. Mesenteric vein in the intestine, while the schistosoma hematobium will go to the bladder and they will live there ovulate for the duration of the host's life. They can live longer. Eggs germinate as they pass through the vessels into intestine for hematoma for japonicum and mastona or in the bladder for hematobia and they will be either eliminated in urine for hematobia in the stool sample for japonicum and mastona. The larva milacidium that hatch from egg, egg coming from the infected person. The milacidia will swim until it find an appropriate snail. Snail coming as any immediate host. After two generations of mere multiplication, the snail, the four tiered saccharia will merge into the water and infect another man and life cycle continue like that. This is the life cycle. If we try to understand well this life cycle will help us to understand the subsequent life cycle of this schistosoma because they are almost uh, 
they have um, almost life cycle which are the same. The difference is the intermediate host somehow. So, how does infection occur? A human being can eliminate it through urine or through stool. Mm -hmm. Urine for schistosoma hematobia, mm -hmm. this one with a terminal spine. You can see this one, this is the terminal spine. This is the lateral spine. Those are characteristic for eggs of schistosoma. So, through urine, you can have hematobium through stool. You can have Japonicum, Mansonai, and even Enterocaratum. Then, in feces, uh, eggs will hatch and release Miracidia. The Miracidia is the larva that will swim in the water and the milacidia will penetrate the snake. Then within the snake there will be some morphological development such as porosis in the snake. Successive generations will occur. Then we will get what we call saccharia. Saccharia which is competent to swim and which can uh, penetrate or perforate the skin of human being. Then after saccharia penetrates the skin of human being, if you are working in a, in a water without tissues, I gave you example of those rice cultures, those mm. persons who culture the rice, mm. you know that they, they culture rice in the water. Okay? So they are at high risk of having this schistosomiasis. Saccharia will lose the tear during the penetration and become schistosomia and will circulate through the different vessels then will migrate to the portal vein in the liver mature into adult the pair the adult female and male that a male and female together we migrate to mesenteric veneers in the bowel and rectum laying eggs that cycrate to the liver and shed in the stool or they will go to the venous plexus of the bladder for schistos I'm not talking about this life where I eliminate in feces or urine under optimal conditions the egg will hatch and release milacidia which milacidia will swim and penetrate specific snail as intermediate host in the snake there will be some sporo sporogony the stage in the snail that includes gener two generations of sporosis and will produce saccharia saccharia is competent and is able to swim and perforate the skin upon release from the snake the saccharia which is effective will penetrate the skin of human and shed their four detail and become schistosomia in the vessels of human being. The schistosomia will migrate through the several tissues and the stages to their residence in the veins. Other tombs in human reside in mesenteric venues and various in various locations. which at times seem to be 
specific for each species. For instance, Shisozoma japonicum is more frequently found in the superior mesenteric vein draining the small intestine, while Mansonayo come more often in the superior mesenteric vein draining the large intestine. However, both species can occupy either one of those two locations and they are capable of moving between sites one to another so it cannot possible to state uh, univo univocally. univocally that one species only occur in one location but this is different for Rushistosoma hematobia where by those occur in the venous plexus of the bladder The female, which is around 7 mm, male is smaller, deposits egg in a small veneer of the portal of the um, ecosystem. Eggs are removed progressively towards the lumen of the intestine for the Masonai and the Japonicum and the bladder for hematobium and the genetic yeah. diprophysis and urine. Pathology of Mansona and the Japonicum schistosomiasis include cough, diarrhea, abdominal pain, occasional amboric egg granuloma in the brain or spinal cord can happen once the schistosomia migrates to those body parts and fails to go to mesenteric vein where they mature. Pathology of hematobia, schistosomiasis include scarring and the calcification, even squamous cell carcinoma and the occasional imperic granuloma in brain and spinal cord. Once those schistosomia also migrate to those area and fail to go to precarious vein of the the bladder. Human contact with water is not necessary for infection by schistosomes because they the the saccharia because the the, the 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 infective stage this one the saccharia is found swimming in water you can't find it in the soil dry soil should be swimming in the water. So contact with water is the main portal for infection. Various animals such as dog, cat, rodent, pig, horse, goat, serve as the reservoirs for this Japonicum and the dog for Mekongi. It's another kind of schistosoma. Penetration of saccharia caused transient dematitis. We call it swimmer's itch. Symptoms of schistosomiasis are primarily due to reaction against the eggs and include splenomegaly or allergic spleen, lymphadenopathy, and diarrhea. In the bladder, they produce granulomatous lesions and sometimes urethral occlusions. Most bladder cancers in endemic area are associated with this chronic infection. In the intestine, they cause polyps formation, which in a severe case may result in life-threatening dysentery. In the liver, egg cause periporto fibrosis, Porto, hypertension resulting in hepatomegaly, splenomegaly, and even ascites. The gross arrangement of the isophageal and gastric vein may result in the rupture, and the patient can develop severe bleeding. Japonicum egg are sometimes carried to the central nerve system and cause headache disorientation, amnesia, and coma and death. Egg carried to the heart produce arteriolitis and fibrosis resulting in of failure of the right ventricles. 
Those are the mesan tragic event they are trying to show. He played an abdomen of this young boy with intestinal schistosomiasis, that extend to liver spleen. Both are well below the midline, indicating the severity of the infection. Those two boys, they are victim of schistosomiasis, showing typical distension of the abdomen. This is a, also is a boy with schistosomiasis, also known as bilariziasis, with an hepatomegaly increased or size of the spleen, the, 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 the liver, and it is muscle atrophy and cachet and even hemorrhage from the gastrointestinal tract. We diagnosed this by finding uh, eggs in stool or urine. But also the history of the patient of having these swimmers beach and residents in endemic area. Eggs are very characteristic in stool sample and urine. The metrobium is found in urine. Mansonai and Japanese form are found in stool. And when egg have this terminal spine, they are a metrobia. You can't confuse them. And they are almost the big eggs compared to round home eggs. They can measure around 100 micrometer in size. They are very big. This with uh, a clear spine. It's not yellow, but not clear, thin, and it's oval, all round. Not like this one. This is round. This is a Japonico. While uh, Mansonai have this lateral spine, and is always thin. Lateral spine. Mm -hmm. and they are not big like those of the matrobium. Treatment and control measures include the sanitary disposal of sewage and the domestic destruction mm -hmm. of snails. No mm -hmm. vaccine is available. Prazequantel and uh, Bendazole can be used as treatment of this. This is tremor. French word but in English no difference, bilariziasis or bilariziosis. Okay? Yes. Yes. Mm. Mm. Let's talk about fasciola. Fasciola buski. That was fasciolopsis. This is a parasite of Central and South Asia. Fasciola hepatica. Also, uh, that belongs to that, that cause fasciolopsis. I was previously called chronologists, and also the 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 the
A severe hepatica is distributed worldwide than is the parasite of grazing animals like sheep, like cattle and man. Opistorchis, <laughs> also called chronorchis, sinensis, is a widespread parasite of and dog cat in South Asia. Let's talk about Fasciola hepatica as the main parasite that <laughs> is leaf shaped <laughs> measuring around one time of three centimeters. Also, are the measure of the in blood, I don't know when the blood is the of the blood. The blood the 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 we are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. What a Passage of lava through the liver will produce the tenderness, hepatomegaly, and infection will result in shield fever caused by hemophilia. Toxic secretion will cause hepatitis, and the presence of foam in the bile duct will cause irritation, resulting in hyper. Pleasure of epithelium and by obstruction. Can I take it to the Other worm may cause even the necrotic focus in the liver. Mm. On the previous line. Yes. Uh, what is the meaning of hyperplasia? Hyper. Hyper, you know. The difference between hypo and hyper. What yeah. is the difference? Hyper. Hmm? Hyper is in a great amount and the hypo is is in a in less amount. Okay. Hyper is an increase. Hypo is a decrease. Yes. Pressure is about. Uh, let's talk about pressure. Pressure is about cell division. So. Uh, there is hyperplasia, it's like increased epithelial cell division. That's how we have, we have seen that previously some parasites may cause cancer. Because they cause hyperplasia, increased cell division or cell replication, and they become too many and many and many and which will cause either this obstruction and even it can cause a a tumor which is either malignant or benign. Mm? If it's a malignant, it's a cancer. If it's a benign, it's a tumor that is not cancer. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Diagnosis is based on symptom and history. Eggs of the can be found in the school and are indistinguishable from those of Pasiura Buski. The treatment in the contrast with Fasciola Buski, Fasciola Hepatica is not responsive mm. to transplanted. Mm -hmm. However, Tricalabendazole is effective for Fasciola Hepatica, but Fasciola Buski and the other, uh, this transplanted is effective drug. Just continue no motive of Mono guys, Zenon, Mazaki, Red Singi, and 
Η τέστη μου Infections There is also what you call Opistorushif Sinensis Opistorushif Feneus and Opistorush Viverin Those are the Spandroid flukes measuring about 16 meters The man is infected by eating raw or properly cooked fish, fish. that carries the effective metasaccharia in the in a cyst. Cyst suggests that lava worm migrate up to the pile duct to the river where it mature into another. Eggs that are deposited <laughs> in the pile duct are in the feces and will find their way to fresh water. <laughs> Upon ingestion by suitable fresh water or percolate snail, the egg hatch to produce a miracidium in the snail, which whereby miracidium in the snail will develop into saccharia that break out in the water to penetrate an under scales of fish. Whereby in the fish the saccharia will assist in the muscle from metasaccharia that are infectious to human. So human will be infected by consumption of easy fish. The fish containing infective stage metasaccharia. The rest of the cycle is the same. Miracidia will develop into by sporocysty ready and saccharia. Saccharia is infective. The symptoms man the one causes irritation of the bile duct that become dilated and deviated. The liver may become allergic, patomegaly, necrotic and tender, and the liver function may be impaired. Modest infection results in indigestion because the liver produces some bile that contribute to digestion, epigastritic discomfort, weakness, and loss of weight. As in the process, anemia, hepatomegaly, slight jaundice, edema, ascites, and diarrhea. Diagnosis is based on symptoms and presence of endemic infection. Where the definitive diagnosis depends on finding characteristic eggs, feces, or biliary duct drainage. Treat Fish should be cooked well before consumption. Sewage should be treated before disposal, and the treatment should be prescribed as the previous one. Now let's talk about the last. We are all pregnant. Paragonimus bestelma that cause lung fog. That cause. Uh, lung infection, I mean. The Paragonimus Westerman is called lung flu. Lung flu. Paragonimus Westerman. It is a plant, reddish brown oval one. A oval Sorry. measuring Sorry. 55 micrometer. This is the other term of Paragonimus Westerman mm -hmm. that can be found in the lung. Lung fluke infects man and domestic carnivores when infested with unsisted metasaccharia is consumed. The metasaccharia rich snail, small intestine, exit their shell and bore their ways as young flukes through the intestine wall and the thoracic diaphragm and penetrate the lung. In the lung, they become closed in one to two centimeter cysts and reach maturity. Eggs can be found in the sputum, the color or if swallowed in the feces. Egg, when introduced in the fresh water, will produce a miracidia which penetrates the suitable snail, whereby in the snail it will develop the 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 carrier, the snail. which will break out in water and penetrate gills. Muscle or viscero of fresh water crabs and become assisted in fresh as metasaccharia. So this is the life cycle. Uh, 
you can find it in sputum or you can find in feces an embryonated egg mm -hmm. they become embryonated and the milacidia hatch and penetrate the snail then in the snail there is porosis the lady and saccharia which is infected then the saccharia invade the crustacea and assists into metasaccharia human ingest ingest inadequate recoupled or T-cord crustacean containing metasaccharia and infection will continue the flu provoke the development of mm. what happened for the an unmillionate unmill so go on the previous slide unmillionate <laughs> yes and an embryonated an embryonated egg to become embryonated what happened which mm. which condition what what condition that make an, uh, an what is the problem yes what happened what happened what happened yes for the unembryonated egg to become embryonated egg yeah it's developed Mental stage. Here the lava is not yet forming. So, so this is an and the lava is not if you consume this egg you will not infect or if, because no lava. But this egg as days go days go on, the mm. egg will become embryonic and the lava will be formed. Then the egg will hatch and release miracidia. The miracidia now will swim and infect the snail and so on. So nothing else happened to this. Nothing else, just it's a matter of days whereby an embryonated egg becomes embryonated. And you have seen this in a different life cycle, different parasites. Yes. Okay. The flux provoke the development of fibrous tissue capsule with bloody pillars material containing fish. There is inflammatory infiltrate around the capsule. Symptoms include the dry cough, body by production of bloody stains, rust, or brown sputum. Hormonal pain and pleurisy may be low or may migrate to the brain where they lay big and cause the aromatic substance resulting in symptoms similar to epilepsy and you can even die. Diagnosis can be based on history and the egg can be found in the sputum often being examined for TB because they can be TB because you have similar symptom of TB like uh, cough, <laughs> bloody sputum and so treatment and the control, adequate cooking of crustacean is a preventive measure improve the sanitary condition have lowered the infection rate in endemic area and the press quantity can be used as a treatment that's about the 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 i'm going to give you a break of 10 minutes then i take like 10 minutes again talking about some practical theories then we call it a day for today in my break i will have a presentation again of 10 minutes <laughs> don't need a break. <laughs> you, you don't need, but you are done. You don't need to get out of the train. No, my dear. You are a train. 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 They are seeing it.
Maybe they have the what are you seeing? connection. Microscope. Microscope. Yeah, microscope. Yeah, microscope. Yeah, microscope. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use a few minutes to tell you what you will learn in the laboratory practical. Mm -hmm. Uh, then tomorrow we will cover protozoa and we will finish parasitology tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So afternoon you have free time to read much more and to work on assignments. But before we go yeah. for lunch, let's talk about the practical thing. Okay? Mm -hmm. So what you ex you are expected to know in the general for microbiology world you will know how to care and how to manipulate microscopy because microscopy is a tool that is used for laboratory testing also you will learn laboratory procedure uh, laboratory safety laboratory is not a bar is not a bedroom is not a dining room is not a sitting room it's a special area that have rules that have regulation and that have safety procedures that should be followed in order to be protected yourself to protect others to protect environment to protect customers clients uh, visitors lecturers and so on if you don't perform those safety procedures you can risk yourself murira ko haba mo haba mo amapodui ari toxic haba mo amapodui ari flammable ashobora kwaka and they are microorganisms, so you will need to learn some Microscopic sample analysis, macro. Here we talk about how, what you are seeing with your eyes. When I give you a sample, if a one can bring a red sample. Urine sample which is red in color, another bring a urine sample which is water like, another bring a sample which is yellow. So those macroscopic features mean something. You will learn also microscopic observation of the sample or microscopy, what we see, and also wet mount preparation, direct sample analysis, culture of fungi. We have seen SDA subrondex or agar. So we learn how to culture samples for fungal adhesion. So, as the main tool that is used in a laboratory, this is a microscope. And microscopy have a different part. This part. This one, Muraboni Chichi, Chini, Chichi, Chayo, Kuzamura, Kujeraha. This is the whole that Nicho Tubatu Ifatio, Vivadi Fasheo, then this is the base. Mm. But the main important thing is those ocular lenses, also known as eyepieces. They are the one you put your eyes looking. The eyepieces, they magnify objects into 10 times in general. Mm -hmm. Then we have also objectives, which also magnify the object either 10 times, 20, 40, 50, 100 times, depending on objective. And we have also knobs. This is a small knob or final adjustment knob. This is big knob or mechanical or course adjustment you know that help you to bring up or down in this stage you put the sample here <laughs> then this will help you to go up or down but this will help you to look on the object that you are seeing so this you will learn it well in the laboratory Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, you can try to understand those 
part of microscope. So, uh, you will try to learn uh, how mm -hmm. the intestinal parasite nematodes look like a the trophozoid, a the cyst, tissue nematodes like microfilaria and the malaria parasite, uh, erogenital and gut, such as trichomonas intestinalis and trichomonas vaginalis, fungi, you will perform stool sample analysis, urine sample analysis, blood, cerebral spinal fluid, and sample like vagina swab, 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 and uh, macroscopic, Excuse microscopic, me, and stains with PC. Excuse me, hmm? what is the swab sample hmm. from the man? That's a parent. You don't need a swab. Swamp, swamp. Have you, have you ever had a COVID test? <laughs> yes, COVID test. Yes, I do. If you have undergone COVID test, the the thing that they introduce in the nose or in the the pharynx, mm. that that is the swab. Ah, okay. So we can swab anywhere. In the vagina, if you have vaginal infection, we can perform a swab in the vagina. If it's a throat swab, we can swab in the throat. And anything, if it's a wound, we can have a swab in the throat. You will also learn uh, well, some concentration methods. Sometimes a patient may have a parasite. Later. Then when the parasites are few, you yeah. can perform yeah. concentration yeah. by yeah. sedimentation yeah. or by yeah. rotation. Yeah. Sedimentation yeah. we use formalin, yeah. but why yeah. yeah. rotation yeah. we use yeah. sodium chloride. Yeah. So sedimentation means that we use formalin and we centrifuge. Formalin will fix the parasite and the parasite will sediment down the part of the tube. Why for rotation? For rotation because salt has density which is greater than the parasite. The parasite will sediment on the surface of the, the water containing the salt and will collect the parasite eggs on the surface of the water. Also, there is another technique called the catocat. Catocat is a technique for schistosoma, blood flukes, that is concentrate those parasites. And also we have staining techniques, such as modified the ZN stain or zir nielsen stain, and the triclone stain that is used for staining the, the, the parasites. So after we can see different parasites on microscopy and I'm going to ask you to identify. Let's start from this. What is this? Volunteer. Ascaris lumbricoides. Ascaris lumbricoides. A fertilized one. Okay, fertilized Ascaris lumbricoides. Okay? Yes. Thank you very much. Then what is this? What is this? What is this? This is unfertilized. What? Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Eh, okay, I want it. Nee, nee. Uh, let's try. I have an idea. Uh, 
that is a trichus trichiura. Trichus trichiura is this one. Which one? This one. Yes, I think that the that down one. Here there are two eggs. This one. Yes. But this is a scaris rembricoides. This is a scaris. This one is a scaris. Yes. So a scaris have many morphologies of eggs. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. Let's go to this one. Yes. Yeah. This is. Which one? This is. Trishius trishiura. Trishius trishiura. The same for this one. What about this one? There's a hook comb. This is a hook comb. Yes. Which one? Which one? This one, this. Uh, that is the pinworm. Pin, yes. Pinworm. Yes. No, pinworm. We don't look for other in the stool. So we can. Now you will see. Now you will see. Kuri video. Kuri YouTube. Hmm. Eh. Hmm. Now what are you? Ah. Now you can. Now you. I. 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 What is this one? This one? That is the Shistozoma Mansoni. Shistozoma Mansoni. It has a peripheral spine. And what about this one? Which one? That is the Shistozoma Hamai. What? Hematobia. Hematobia, yes. It has terminal spine. Yes. Yes. I am not fine. Yes. 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 Harja, the fete. Tenia. I tenia spe. Tukre. This one. Yes, zoom the moon. Huh? Tenia. Tenia spaira. Salina sans. Salium. Those are tenia. Tenia solium. Tenia saginata. Yes, yes. Tenia saginata. Can I not call you because? What about this one? Which one? Which one? This one. Ah, Kuranju. Ten. This is ten. You go and do it. Sorry, you. Ten. Ten. Yeah, but which ten? Imenelopis. No, that is. Imenelopis. No, that is that is ten. Yeah, sorry, I'm. The look like this. The Neosolium they look the same. Okay. In mm. which one? In which one? In Nana. Oh. In Nana. Oh. Nana. And you can see the Paragonimus westerman. That is the lung fruit. 
Yes, you remember. You remember. Yes. remember the, you remember. Do you remember the sheaf? Sheaf. This one. Yes. This is the sheaf. Sheaf. Okay. Yeah. Those are the, the nuclei within the the parasite. Yes. Yes. All of those are microfilaria, including lower lower, Usheraria, Bancroft, and so on, and we have seen them. This is Oncocerica volviris, that, that causes Oncocerciasis. And those are the images that I want to show you. Can you share why you suggest so before we go for restoration? Mm. Why so? For lunch. So this this this, this <laughs> procedure, this one probably I will give it to you and you pass through it. Just state the procedures that can be used to analyze including the the concentration method called this one this is the sedimentation method you take a stool sample you mix with formalin you centrifuge and the whole parasite will come down here in the tube and we discard all of this and we remain with the sediment and we put this on microscope to see the parasite mm. This card is not This is this one is colloid flotation technique. Yes. We just mix the salt with water and put put in. We mix with the stool. Then we wait for an hour. The parasite will come up. Will float. Amaji ya parasite tarare mbahejuru. Then. We collect those eggs and look on microscope. This is the catocars, catocars technique that is used for schistosomas. Zeden is then for Cryptosporidium. The methods for taking a blood smear for malaria diagnosis and also the diagnostic stages of malaria parasite. Those are malaria parasites, but we will see this tomorrow, not today. Those are the parasites that we will see. Yes. This is the bookworm. This is strongly the stericolaris. Those are. 